Hello, this is Holger Martin with EETScribe.com. I'm going to spend a couple minutes here talking about uh, the SIP resistor network that we're going to be using for our uh, Super Blinky that we're making. Uh, this is it. And the way you need to think about this is just think of it, this particular package as nine resistors connected together to one common lead. So make note of this dot here. This indicates the common lead for all the resistors. So there are actually nine resistors and there's one lead for each resistor exposed and the other side of each resistor is connected to the common resistor lead right here. So uh, this lead is connected to this, to the resistor behind this uh, pin, the one behind this pin, the one behind this pin, etc, etc. Now, uh, if you've got trouble visualizing that, uh, here's a picture that might help. Uh, let's, let's zoom out here. So, someone has actually made a resistor network out of real resistors. So here it's much more obvious uh, what's going on. So there are actually uh, several resistors and uh, they all have a common lead here. So this is an advantage uh, when you're doing things with resistors because you eliminate a lot of leads. You just have one lead for all uh, the resistors on for all the leads on this side here so instead of using all these leads here you just have one lead here so you could do something like connect the uh, negative of the power supply to this lead and then the positive side of the power supply would be on this uh, side here in our case we're going to connect LEDs to each uh, one of these one of the resistors on this side here so that's pretty much all it is. And I'll, I'll uh, hook up a multimeter to the resistor uh, network just so you can see uh, exactly uh, how the resistances work. And I did say that I thought they were 470 uh, ohms. They're actually uh, about one kilo ohm. And uh, I'll just do a quick uh, measurement or two on the resistor network and then you'll see uh, exactly uh, what I'm talking about. So if I pull this up here, my handy multimeter, and this is the uh, lead with the dot, so it's the common. And if I connect uh, the other uh, lead of the multimeter here, you can see that it is about uh, 1K resistance. So if I go in and just do a few other ones, um, other leads, you can see it's always about, whoops, you can see it's always about 1K. So this is a lot more convenient uh, when you're breadboarding, if you need a bunch of resistors to protect a bunch of things and they're all the same size. So you've got nine uh, resistors that are 1K, and, which makes it very handy for a breadboard. I have no idea what the power rating of this thing is. Um, there is a number on here. It's 10A102G. I guess there's some kind of standard uh, numbering format that indicates what size this is. I haven't been able to deduce it yet. I believe. Uh, I believe I'd be guessing if I understood. I've got some ideas on what all those numbers mean. 10A. 10 to G, but uh, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I'll uh, write something up on my uh, blog <coughs> explaining what that is when I figure it out. So uh, if you go to uh, www.eetscribe.com uh, and find this particular video, there might be a little explanation about the, uh, the numbering scheme for uh, labeling these uh, resistor networks. And that's it.